dance with me Move your feet and feel it in the space between You gotta give yourself a moment, let your body be Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good night wherever you are in the world. How are you going? Hope you're doing well. That's good. <laughs> um, so this video is going to be pretty chill. As you can probably see, I'm just lying, actually lying on my bed. Well, not lying, sitting on my bed. And yeah, I was kind of just wanted to film this video. I have done all my errands for the day and didn't have much to do just before dancing tonight. So I was like, why not film a video? One of the videos that I wanted to film for a while. If you're not into these kind of, not deep videos, but kind of sit down videos, that's fine. But it's something that I've, I love watching these videos and it's definitely helped me personally by watching videos like this. And yeah, and that's what I want to do with my channel. <laughs> but yes. I don't know. I definitely wanted to do more videos, want to do more videos like this on my channel besides the kind of creative ones I've done. It's helped me a lot personally watching videos like this. It'll make sense once I actually start talking about the topic. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. Otherwise, I'm gonna, this is going to be like a 20 minute intro and you don't want that. Anyway, um, how do I start? Pretty much over the past like six months such the end of this year, I've just... I feel like I've changed quite a bit as a person, not necessarily like my personality, I don't think, hopefully, but changed as in grown. My personal outlook on life has changed quite a bit over the past like six months slash to the end, towards the end of this year. And I feel like I've changed yeah, quite a lot in that aspect of my life. And I don't know, watching videos like this definitely helps. That's why I'm not, yeah, as I said, why I wanted to do, wanted to do this video. Anyway, point of this video is, as I said, I feel like my outlook on life has just changed quite a bit over the past few months and obviously that's a really broad statement like outlook on life that could be like anything but specifically I guess just yeah outlook on life happiness like what I kind of strive for with my life in a way strive for what my goals are I'm just gonna say the dot dot points I've got written down and as cliche as it sounds, one of the first one is life is so short. I know that's probably one of the most used slash heard quotes ever, that life is so short. But it really is. That's definitely something that's, I guess, changed, assisted in changing my outlook in life <laughs> a bit. Um, do the things you love and only you can make you happy. Because with And with that last one, I'm going to start off with that just because I feel like Obviously, everyone has their bad days. Everyone has good days. Everyone, you know, has days where they're kind of just like, eh. it's natural. It's human nature and human nature. It's, yeah, well, human nature for people to have those emotions because you do. You're human. Everyone has them. And I feel like that's a big step in just having a more positive outlook on life, I guess. Realizing that, that everyone goes through all the emotions that you go through and it's just accept to accept those emotions that you're going through for example if you're feeling sad be like yeah I'm feeling sad because personally I would if I'm like angry or sad I would get annoyed at the fact that I'm feeling those emotions but that just makes it worse obviously so I feel like just yeah in life if you're ever feeling just blah or like sad or angry or happy let yourself feel those emotions because it's natural and it just makes it worse if you kind of beating yourself up about feeling those certain things and also with on the topic of emotions I feel like at the end of the day like I said only you can make you happy obviously people and certain situations and things that happen happen in your life obviously assist and like kind of alter the way you feel but at the end of the day it's you're the only person that can make you happy and can I guess help control those emotions if that makes sense like for example if you're feeling angry or sad about because someone, I don't know, someone stole a piece of your cookie or something like that that you were really looking forward to. You went out, let bought, you went out, bought a cookie like a chocolate, whatever flavor cookie cookie you like. You bought it, you came home and you opened the cupboard or whatever, and the cookie's gone. And obviously, I don't know, a sibling's taken it or something. Anyway, I'm going off track. Obviously, you know, you're gonna be annoyed. Like your instant reaction is most likely that you're going to be annoyed, you're going to be upset because you're really looking forward to that cookie all day and someone just come and take in there without even asking you. Obviously, yeah, you're going to get that feeling inside of you, you just like, you stole my cookie. 
But at the end of the day, you can keep dwelling on that and be like, I can't believe they stole my cookie. <laughs> I really it should have probably used a more serious example, but I want to keep going with it. <laughs> yeah, you could at the end of the day, you could be annoyed or angry that they stole your cookie. And it's okay, you're allowed to feel these feelings because you were looking forward to that cookie all day. So let yourself feel those feelings, but at the same time, don't let those that thing or whatever that circumstance is ruin your day. Try and think if you do start to feel those feelings, accept it, but also then try and distract yourself by doing the things you love or doing something that just will obviously alter that mood um, for you. Because yeah, at the end of the day, that person eating your cookie may have been like, oh yeah, I want to make this person angry or I want to make this person, I want to make my sibling annoyed. But by them saying that, that doesn't, I don't know, how do I explain it? Just say someone's, if I was just in a normal mood, just say like, you know, this is just me. If someone comes up to me, I want you to be angry right now. I want you to be sad. Obviously, you're not going to just, by them saying that to you, that doesn't make your brain and body go, oh, yeah, I'm sad. Or, oh, yeah, I'm, that's just, by them saying, I want you to be sad, that's made me sad, if that makes sense. I don't know, I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't put it in words. I hope you kind of get what I mean. Pretty much, yeah, at the end of the day, you're responsible for your own you're not responsible but you are the person that can change your happiness and change how you feel and obviously yes there's things in life that suck and can probably like obviously affect that but you can either look at it as you know like this sucks blah, 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 or you know what that happens shite happens in life but you know what I'm not gonna let that affect my mood I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna do the things I love, I'm going to just go on with my day because, or I'm going to accept that I felt that way and not beat myself up about it because, you know, that's life. If life was just like this all the time, it'd kind of be boring, but then because life is up and down, it kind of makes the, the bad times make the good times just so much better. For example, if you were to go someone to go on holiday, you know, and not go through any bad times, you probably wouldn't appreciate the good times as much like that would kind of just be like any other day and but because you have gone through those bad times or anything like that it does make the good times even better and you kind of get that you know that fuzzy feeling when you go through those times hey sorry my camera stopped recording so i had to stop and that's probably really weird jump cut but anyway i'm gonna continue so what was i saying at the end of the day you make your happiness you can even though, yeah, things can alter it and affect the way you feel, at the end of the day, you can, can just be like, hey, no, I'm not going to let that affect me. I know it's easier said than done, but to be honest, I have always, I always thought that when people said that to me before, I was kind of like, yeah, okay, yeah, like, thank you. But over the past, as I said, like, I don't know, six months or so, I kind of really thought about that. Every time I did start to feel not the best, I would just like kind of stop myself in a way and just be like, hang on, why am I feeling like this? What's making me feel like this? And that it's okay to feel like that, and but also at the same time, try and not let that affect my mood entirely, if that makes sense, or affect my whole day. The times that you are not feeling the best, if you think about it, that's only a little chunk of your whole life that you're feeling that way. And even if it is for a longer period of time, like I know there are people that obviously sadly go through times where they're not feeling their best for a while but still that's only this much of your life so yeah I just feel like personally for me just any of the times I do feel like a certain way that isn't you know always the best I kind of just take a moment try even just really trying to focus on where you are at that point kind of thing like, and just like kind of close your like personally I'll sometimes close my eyes and listen to the sounds around me. I know, I, I know that sounds probably sounds so weird, but kind of just really living in the now. I know it sounds so cliche, and it's so it said a lot. But I feel like so many of the things that people say to you, like "Oh, live life to your fullest," like "Oh, live in the now," it's got to a point where people are kind of like, "Yeah, yeah," like I agree, but it's easier said than done, which I 100% agree. But I also think. Because I was one of those, I was kind of like, yeah, people always say that. I always said that, but I didn't really act upon it. But it's one of those things where if you actually take a moment to kind of think about those certain things, act on it, and give it a go, I feel. Just giving it a go, it really does change your outlook on life. As 
cliche as all those quotes are, it really does help. And I feel like it's obviously something that's not going to happen straight away. Like one day you're going to be like, you know, I'm going to do this, this, this. It's like anything. If you're want to start dancing obviously you're not going to be amazing or you're not going to be able to pull a 20 ton car <laughs> I don't know in like straight away you're going to eventually obviously practice and slowly get up there if that makes sense so it's definitely not something that just happens in a day or overnight like anything like majority of things in life but I don't know if you really kind of focus on those things it does eventually help I don't know if I'm even making sense. I'm probably just blabbering on. This is also stuff that a few of my friends have, I've kind of had. Anyone that knows me knows that I could talk about this stuff for like hours with my friends. And a lot of my friends, I've talked to so many of my friends about just life in general and just kind of people, not people, like specific people, but just people in humans as a whole kind of thing, as deep as it sounds. Um, and it's something that I feel like a lot of people do talk about, but it's not necessarily always out there in the world, if that makes sense. I don't know, I could be so wrong, but just me personally, this is what I've seen or haven't seen. And there are other topics I want to talk about that I feel like need to be talked about, but doesn't, but isn't, not accepted, but people kind of feel a bit, ugh, to talk about it, even though it totally, totally shouldn't be, because um, it is, you know, like, a lot of people go through it. Anyway, I'm not going to do that video today because that's a whole different video. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like at the end of the day, you know, we're all human. We all go through bad times. We also go through good times. And I feel like we all just need to kind of take every day as it goes and kind of be, list down all the things you're grateful for. That's a lot of the, that's one of the things I've been doing or just even been thinking. If I ever am not feeling the best, I'll kind of just stop take a moment and kind of just think about all the things I am grateful for and to be honest it does totally help a lot because you kind of you're not thinking about overthinking like other things and which I do a lot because I am an overthinker but yeah the main point of this video is like, I just wanted to make it so people can see that oh I don't know that hopefully could help someone in some way even if it helps one person that would be amazing and just to get people talking I know people already do talk about life and like all that stuff on a daily basis but just to actually take action in just be not necessarily being happy in life because you know no one's happy 24 7 it, like that's just not possible to be happy 24 7 but to just be accepting that's the word that's like the main be accepting of where you are how far you've come accepting of anything that's happened in your life and also just if you're scared to do things do it because that probably means you're either a lot of the time with fear, actually I saw this quote, I'm changing the subjects left, right and centre, but anyway, I saw this thing where it was kind of about like fear, fear and resistance, and it said, are you paralysed with fear? That's a good sign. Fear is good. Like self-doubt, fear is an indicator. Fear, t fear tells us what you ha we have to do. Remember our rule of thumb, the more scared we are of walking or calling, the more sure we can be that we have to do it. Resistance is experienced as fear. The degree of fear equates to the strength of resistance. Um, the more fear we feel about a specific enterprise, the more certain we can be that the enterprise is important to us and to the, and to the growth of our soul. And that's why we feel so much resistance. If it meant nothing to us, there'd be no resistance. Which I, obviously, I think there's a kind of a... I agree with this, but at the same time I don't. Obviously, there's some things that you're probably scared about that it's probably dangerous and you probably shouldn't do but I feel like the majority the majority of the things in life that you're scared about could be like I don't know applying for a new job going for an audition or I don't know calling the boy you like or anything like that that you're scared of majority of the time that just means that you care which is good which is like I said in the kind of in that quote that if you're nervous to do something that means you care which is good and that just means even more that you should do it. There's so many times in my life and I have that I've been so scared to do things and that things that I probably should have done and it probably would have helped me so much but I didn't do just because I was scared and I was like worried or what would people think if I did this or what if I embarrassed myself by going to that audition but I looking back now I just I wish there's so many things I wish I had done and I feel like now there's still so many times, like the other day I had an audition and I was overthinking it so much about all the things that could happen 
and everything that I was so close to being like, no, I shouldn't go, like, oh, I shouldn't do it or this or that. But that's because I cared. Obviously, I cared. I do care quite a lot about any aspects of that um, industry. And at the end of the day, I was like, no, you know what? If I don't get it, that's fine. That's life. If I do get it, I, that's amazing. And I feel like with fear, you can either learn from it. If you do something that you're scared of when you it doesn't end up the best, that's you learning from that experience. That's you saying, okay, I was scared to do this. I did this. And may I don't want to do it again. You've learned from that experience. Or either you'll either grow from doing that certain thing, if that makes sense. So... I don't know, I've definitely started, that's one of the things over the past six months that I've started to do that if I'm nervous about doing something, I'll most likely do it because, yeah, I'm either going to learn from it or grow from it, which I think personally is both, are both good things. But yes, that's pretty much the main thing I wanted to kind of just put out there. This is probably such a weird video, probably like, heck, like, I'm not a professional in any way in all of these things, as you can tell, because I'm probably not making sense for the majority of this video, but I just wanted to put it out there because I've been watching a lot of these videos personally and it has helped, and yeah, that's just my YouTube channel, I just made it, I kind of made a full video of why I made this channel, I'll link it down below, but videos like this is one of the reasons why I made this channel, also to, I guess, kind of let because of the creative side of things and being able to kind of share the things I love but also because I one of the things I do want to do in life is also help people and kind of I don't know I've just always wanted to somehow tie the things I love into being able to help people and this is just that making videos like this that hopefully this, is, this may only help one person which that is, I'm fine with that. This might only get a view from one person, which I'm also fine with that. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm not making sense. But I hope you kind of get the whole point of this video. It's kind of a bit of a random one. I just think it's crazy how much people can change or you can change as a person over time. Like seeing my, if I was to look back on myself like a year ago, I was a totally different person. Not as in like, yeah, I said personality wise, but totally different person when it came to my outlook in life and just positivity and happiness and all of that stuff. I may have not portrayed that in front of other people, but me personally, I knew I was, I was just, yeah, I was totally different. My outlook in life was totally different, all of that. And just ever since I've kind of just stopped and just kind of pretty much taken the breath and just chilled and thought about how short life is and not so much worried about what other people are doing in their life, but to more kind of have time for yourself. That's what I'm trying to say. Just have time for yourself. Think about yourself. It's, it's good to be selfless, but and you also at the same time have to look after yourself. Do the things you love and just live life. You're like, why are you young? Do the things you love and do what you feel is right for you. And okay, sorry, my um, not computer camera shut off again. So another weird cut. But anyway, I hope this video kind of made sense and in some way. And a lot of word just me just throwing words out <laughs> to the world but yes I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it kind of got someone thinking in at least some way about life and just living your life for you really do the things you love and all of that stuff because as cliche and as much as you hear it life is so short and we really should just be accepting ourselves more and accepting certain situations and just learning to just remember that we don't have to please everyone it's impossible to please everyone um to make decisions for you and not necessarily for other people obviously take in mind stuff that people have said and taking opinions and everything but at the end of the day you need to do things for you because you're the one you're living your life every day and with you every kind of mid second of the day um and to also to notice your feelings and accept certain feelings that you're feeling because like i said it's natural everyone feels probably the same feelings that you're feeling and it's okay and also to embrace challenges and just accept your struggles and also work through them because they're yeah i want to try and stop just yeah accept your challenges work through them embrace them you take them as that you're just growing or learning from certain experiences and yeah I'm starting to really not make any sense. So I'm going to stop. 
filming. Yeah, I hope this made sense. If not, but anyway, I'm going to stop. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a, leave a comment on how you kind of, if there are any ways slash tips or how you kind of embrace life. Uh, yeah, I am going to have some dinner now. And yeah, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm not the plain and simple. I'm in another lane. I'm like a Shirley Temple, the cherry on the cake. Just a throwback kid from the 90s. I stole my.